Oh, it's really good. My peoples, my peoples. Oh, uh, I'm surprised. I've been looking around and I haven't seen it yet, but uh, I figured I'd just do a prediction. So let's do it. I'm excited. This is one of those skills versus wills versus determination. Let me say this again. Skills and determination versus will. That's how it should be said. Because when I look at this fight, Brandon Reels, a hard-nosed, body-punching, brawling, savage in the ring, will walk through, eat some, some, some stuff to put his hands on you. Then you got an electrifying Yuri Yorkis Gamboa who has quite a bit of skill but and surprise I won't say knockout power but surprising shock value power meaning he comes with so much speed he catches you off guard when he hits you and you get knocked out. But he's coming up 10 pounds. Now, see, Brandon Rios is having problems uh, maintaining that weight. That's why he's trying to go up. And if that's the case, that means this guy is walking around at probably between 150s to 160s, I'm going to say. So he's an extremely big guy compared to Yuri Yorkis Gamboa. Now, now, yeah, Yuri Yorkis Gamboa is coming up in weight. But I'm pretty sure the weight he's coming up to is very close to what he actually walks around at. But that's still probably close to 20 pounds lighter than than uh, Brandon Rios. So how is this fight going to work out? Yuri Yorkis Gamboa likes to use the ring. He likes to use his speed, get in, get out, hit you, you know, jump in, hit you a few times, jump out, step to the side, all that good stuff. Brandon Rios, I don't think he can hurt Brandon Rios. I think Brandon Rios is going to stalk this guy the whole entire fight. Stalk him, just walk through punches and beat, bang that body. I think... This fight can only go one of two ways, and both favoring Brandon Rios. Either he's going to stalk, stalk uh, Gamboa so much and bang his body in the process that it's going to look like with him being the aggressor, it's going to look like he's doing more. Or two, he knocks out Yuri Yorkis Gamboa. Because we all know Gamboa some I won't say I won't say he's been down I mean he, he's been hit extremely hard in the ring. Some a couple times he was kinda off balance trying to throw. He's been put on his ass before. He gets right back up. So I, again, I think it got a lot to do with uh with uh being off balance getting caught. But, again, he's going to be in a ring with a brawler puncher that it don't really take that much accumulation for you to feel his power in the ring. So, I got to say it again. Everything about this fight favors Brandon Rios beating the hell out of Yuri Orkis Gamboa. See, 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 because... The only way I can see Gamboa being effective is if he maintains distance and and, and and pop shot and jump in, flurry and jump out. That's the only way he can be effective. But with him coming up 10 pounds, the power ain't going to be there to intimidate Brandon Rios one bit. So when he's jumping in, Brandon Rios is going to start throwing because he might get hit, but he's going to... Gamboa is going to be there to be hit. So it's going to feel like a pity patcher. Pity 
pat punches to Brandon Rios while he's banging his dude body. And he's going to chase Gamboa. He's going to chase him all over the ring. He's going chase to chase him so much that I think some of the flurry slash pop shots that 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 Yuri Orcas Gamboa is going to want to set up, he's not going to have the opportunity to because right when he's going to try to pivot to 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 throw those punches, Brandon's going to be in his face banging that body like just just laying 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 wood to him, man, putting them bricks on him. Putting them bricks minus the plastic gloves, of course, but putting them bricks on him. So, I feel like I feel like uh, Bob Arum is uh, making Yuri Yerkes Gamboa a sacrificial lamb just to make a pay-per-view that people will want to see. That's just me. I would much rather... I would much rather see Gamboa fight some more somebody a little bit more stable at that weight it will be a great pugilistic match meaning skill versus skill if he fought, fought adrian broner that would be awesome that would be awesome because both of them have speed both of them are electrifying in the ring and both of them can punch now now now, the only reason I say this fight for real is because he, uh, uh, Adrian Broner is more of a boxer in the ring. So it'll be, it'll be more of a, of a, uh, a skill fight. Not somebody that's going to eat leather, walk right through Gamboa's punches and put his hands on. But that's a fight for later on down the road. I hope it happens regardless of uh, Yuri Yorkis Gamboa getting uh, sent as a sacrificial lamb to the Wolves. Maybe it'll happen next year. Who knows? If he stays at that weight, who knows? But that's my take on it, man. Brandon Rios is going to put his hands on Yuri Yorkis. He going to feel some pain in the fight, man. I know he's ripped and all this and that. And he got a great physique, but great physiques don't equal up to you being able to take punches. Or you being able to put power in your punches. Because he's coming up a lot in weight and expected to bang with a brawler. And uh, it ain't happening. So I'm going to lean towards... I'm going to lead towards a unanimous decision with Brandon Rios because I think uh, Yuri Yorkis, very early in the fight, is going to find out he needs to run flat out so he don't get knocked out. He's going to have to run. I think by the fifth round, the excitement is going to turn to, come on, man, do something. Do something. We're talking about Gamboa. He will go down at least once in the fight, though. It might not be from, excuse me, it might be a accumulation thing or he get caught off balance, but he's going to go down at least once in the fight and then run for the rest of the fight. It is what it is. But give me your take on it. That's how I see it. Unanimous decision for Brandon Rios. I'm excited to see the fight. I hope y'all are, too. Let me know what you think. Until the next one, doses.